Jonathan Masters out of Louisville, Kentucky. So I have an irrational love for my home state, Kentucky. And in fact, it's kind of like a sickly child that's stuck in the gutter, who's poor, dumb, backwards, racist, has no teeth, addicted to meth. So it's, it's a sickly child in the gutter who needs help. <laughs> so, um, you know, born and raised here. I was born actually in, in Covington, Kentucky, right next to Sanford Town, where the group servers had immigrated to um, America in 1869, four years after the uh, uh, so-called American Civil War. So you have... You know, 1869, the group servers come in in uh, uh, near Ellesmere, and then you know, 1869, fast forward to 1982. I'm born, you know, in a manger in uh, St. Elizabeth South, and I was born uh, in uh, in in Covington, but I was the uh, my parents were living at the residence in Camp Ernest, so I was in Boone County for one year. They moved to Gallatin County, and then I'm in Gallatin County on the edge, but our mailing address was Gent. Now, the reason why I would be considered Gallatin County, our, you know, the property is in Carroll County, but the, the road's all windy and shit, so the school buses came and picked us up, and I went to school in Warsaw, so therefore made me Gallatin County. But living on the edge, you know, in between uh, Warsaw or uh, uh, Gallatin and Carroll, you know, I could, I could, I don't have, I don't know, I can see both perspectives. I, I love Gent, you know, just as much as I love Gallatin and just as much as I love uh, Kentucky. You know, it all, it's all connected to me. I don't really see that big of a difference. Now, I want to talk about Gallatin County history, right? So I'm born, I'm out on a farm, and actually it's at Coash Pond right now. Where I was born, they have, uh, KU has bought it, and now they're dumping up all these toxins and all these pollutants and arsenic and everything else, you know? So I was actually, um, I was, you know, one year, one years old, this is where I lived, I grew up, and there's a house of pain, right? I mean, it, was, it wasn't exactly a, a fun childhood. Regardless, these are my roots. This is where I'm from, so this is what made me. Gallup County made me. There's there's no denying this. <laughs> there's, I was valedictorian at 2000, so, and I think, well, I don't know. Maybe that caused jealousy, maybe because I was, um, you know, I was kind of a, a, a goody, uh, two shoes, and so I did what I was told. So maybe there is some resentment there. But actually, in terms of oppressor and the oppressed, the people who will attack you the most is horizontal violence. So the people who, you know, it, 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 there's no solidarity, there's no unity. I'm not going to get down that. I just want to talk about Gallup County history. Um, I remember this debate that we had, and uh, me and John, John Luther Parker. And so we were talking about what's the smallest county, and he was saying that was Robertson, and I was believing it was Gallup County. And yeah, I guess it is a, a decent debate, but it was, you know, he's a pretty smart young man. And if the smart young men didn't know what was going on, you know, there's probably hardly any chance that anybody knows what's going on. But he was saying Robertson's probably the smallest, and so I, you know, I was like, oh, okay, maybe you're right. And then I just didn't know. I walked away, you know, not knowing. And then I researched myself. Gallup County is 100% securely the smallest county in the state. Now, the argument between Gallup County versus is Robertson County is the, whether or not you count the waterways. Well, water's not land, okay, so it's, uh, it's the land, and there's less land in Gallup County, and that's it. So Gallup County is the smallest county in the state of Kentucky. There's 120 counties. Gallup County is the smallest one. Now, there was a, Gallup County actually was one of the largest counties in Kentucky in 1799. I think these dates are really important. If you're a Gallatin County, and you should know where Gallatin County came from. What are the origins of the county? You know, why is this county formed? We've only been there for 200-something years. It's not that hard to be able to find out, you know, why it was there, what it was named for, and also the cities. You know, what were the cities named for? And I feel like there's more culture that's, that's been lost that used to be in Gallup County, used to exist there. So 1799 is when Gallup County was formed, and that's actually, that means it was before um, Louisville. Louisville was formed 1828 uh, by the state. So 1828 is when Louisville was born, but Gallup County was formed in 1799. And so 1799, you got big Gallatin County, which encompasses uh, shit tons of fucking counties, but then it was whittled down in February 5th, 1872, and then it's been the same size from 1872 till till today, 2013. 
The reason this is significant, because when you read about the history of Gallatin County, you might hear that somebody is from Gallatin County, but if they was from Gallatin County before 1872, they could very well have been from Trimble County. You know, they could have been from Owen County or Grant County. They could have been from some other county surrounding Gallatin County, but not actually the Gallatin County of today, because Gallatin County used to be the biggest county. So if there's somebody that says, oh, they was from Gallatin County, we can't be 100% sure if it was before 1872. 1799 to 1872, Gallatin County was huge. After 1872, the Gap County has stayed the same size for 140 years. In 1872, it was the smallest county, and it's the smallest county today. 140 years, Gap County has been the smallest county in Kentucky. Bar none. And that's not a bad thing. In fact, that's a, that's a very distinctive quality. You know, you can say, um, we may be small, but we have big ideas. We might be the smallest county. We're the biggest and baddest motherfuckers, you know, in the state. You, there's so many things you can do with that. So... That's fact number one. Gallup County, smallest county in the state, 1872. Everything that you hear about Gallup County after 1872 is Gallatin. So if somebody was from, well, I'm from Gallup County, and I was born 18, you know, I'm talking about 1873, and that's where they was at. And we're going to talk about some of the people that was from Gallup County, but I want to get through the origins of the names of Gallatin County. In Gallup County, you have three major cities, right? <laughs> major cities. You got Glencoe, Sparta, and Warsaw. So those are the three biggest cities. I want to mention Gent too, um, because that's you know that's that's my city. And I don't know if Carroll County really even c considers Gent part of them. Gent's got its own town, its own people, its own. It's got a black mayor too, which is you know that blew me away. Um, considering you know Galvin County and their uh, penchant for loving white supremacists and. Um, and child abuse, you know, that's they, they tend to like that. The the Andrew O'Connor is probably the the, the strongest, um, biggest man in Galton County. She got the biggest balls, gonna stand up for what's right, and that's good. But it seems like there is a culture of beating the shit out of your children, and they all involve it, and they're all for it. Also, white supremacy, Confederate flags, all this other shit. Racism, militarism, consumerism are the three-headed uh, dragon that Martin Luther King said we needed to destroy, and we haven't even got past the racism yet. So in terms of combating militarism or consumerism, I think we're, we're a little ways off. Regardless, so origins of Gallatin County. Gallatin County, Kentucky. So Gallatin County, Kentucky, uh, well, it says founded in uh, 1798, but it's 1799. So, you know, 1798, 1799. <laughs> well, we'll say one or the other, right? But at the very end of the 1700s, right, you know, basically you could say most of the 1800s, Gallatin County was huge, and then 1900s and 2000s, it was small. So in 1798, named for Albert Gallatin, okay? Who is Albert Gallatin? I see no Albert Gallatins in in Gallatin County today. Um, he is a diplomat. He's aristocratic, and he's also very political and got high up onto the echelons of the establishment. Uh, so Albert Gallatin is a Swiss native who served as Secretary of the Treasury for President Thomas Jefferson. And it's a county located in the U.S. state of Kentucky along the Ohio River. Its formation was the main transportation route. In uh, 2010, the population was 8,589, so approximately 8,600. The population is, it's 2010, so it's the most recent data. 8,600 people is how many people Gallatin County has. Uh, and its county seat is Warsaw. So let's read a little bit of the history uh, that it has. This is all Wikipedia, so, you know, people want to say, oh, Wikipedia, blah, 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 blah. It's a very good fucking... It's the best, you know, it's the encyclopedia, and it's there for everybody. It's get checked all the time. You get to know exactly, you know, um, you get to see more information, I think. So, Gallup County is formed December 14th. So, I guess it's right at the cusp, right? So, let's write December 14th, 1798. That's, that's the date Gallup County is formed. 1798, December 14th. Happy birthday. So actually, the Gap County had a birthday seven years ago. I doubt that they actually celebrated it, though. And it would have been the, the uh, uh, 215 years in existence. So that's 215 years, right? It's not the 200 years or 250 years, but it's 215. It's multiple of five. You could have done something with that. So it's formed December 14, 1798. Gallup County is the 31st Kentucky County to be established. It is derived from the parts of Franklin and Shelby. Later parts of the county were paired off to create three additional counties. So this is how big it was, okay? Owen County is formed off of it. Trimble County is formed off of it. And Carroll County is formed off of it. 
And um, so they, they had actually broke, you know, they broke into pieces. Owen, Trimble, and Carroll County all used to be part of Gallatin County. So the Carroll County versus Gallatin County rivalry is stupid since Carroll County used to be, I mean, that was Gallatin County. Plus, they're similar in populations, they're similar in culture, similar in, you know, vicinity. They're right on the river, they're river towns. Uh, you know, there's so many similarities to them. Maybe that's why they hate each other, you know. The, it's uh, the, the two fucking weakest, you know, not weakest, but two smallest counties duking it out for, oh, we're not the worst. Um, but there's a lot of comparisons for that, so the whole rivalry, it, it's fun, but it's, it could also get dangerous, too. So I think you need to put a check on any type of, especially irrational rivalries, you know. It's just, just a game, right? So... Gallatin County is actually one-tenth of its original size. So think about Gallatin County. It's 40.4 um, square miles. And in the reason why I even wrote this down is because to compare it to Switzerland, since Albert Gallatin was a Swiss diplomat. Well, what's Switzerland? Well, Switzerland's like, you know, it looks like a pretty small uh, country compared to France and uh, Poland and some of the other ones, Spain. But it's, and it is small. It's 16,000 square miles. And Switzerland's located on the Alps, so it's in the mountains, and the, most people live on the plateau of the mountains, and there's 8 million population, so it's got a population of 8 million in, in Switzerland, compared to Kentucky, which is 40.4 square miles, so it's about three times smaller than Kentucky. Kentucky's three times bigger than Switzerland, and the population of Kentucky is 4.3 million. So it's three times as bigger than Switzerland, and it has half the, po half the population. This means if Switzerland can be the powerhouse, you know, Swiss bank accounts, they're always neutral in all these wars, they're up in the mountains and shit, so they get away with all this, they are able to take a smaller piece of land and have more people on it and actually have a better economy and better political system, a better a lot of things. And Switzer, you know, Switzerland, that's Albert Gallatin came from Switzerland. We named our county Albert Gallatin, right, to honor this Swiss um, American uh, Secretary of the Treasury under Thomas Jefferson. So, let's see, the, uh, during the Civil War, skirmishes occurred in the county and Union forces arrested some men for treason, right? So the Union is arresting people. At the end of the war, the Ohio River near Warsaw was the scene of the, one of the worst steamboat accidents. Two passenger steamers, America and the United States, collided. As the United States carried a cargo of barrels of kerosene, which caught fire, soon both boats were in flames. The death toll is 162. Yeah. Okay, so Markland Locks and Dam began in 1956, was completed in 1964. So Markland Locks and Dam, that's in Gallatin, 1967, a hydroelectric power plant was built on the dam. So and it provides jobs. Hydroelectric power plant. So... Wonderful. You know, they're making money um, just from the water. And water, you know, the Ohio River will always continue to flow. So that's a, um, that's, that's a, an infinite power source. So, let's see, as the 20th century progressed, commercial river trade began to decline. The steamboat era ended. Most people referred to, uh, preferred faster modes of transportation. Railroads increased in capacity. Automobiles and trucks became reliable and aircraft became prevalent. Let's see, Gallatin County is traversed by 71, or I-71, U.S. 42, and U.S. 27. By the 1980s, more than 50% of the population was employed outside of the county. That's pretty significant. Most people are having to get their jobs outside the county because Gallatin County itself has a coordination problem. They got a population of, you know, one of the smallest populations in the state, 8,600, but they're not able to find 8,600 jobs for everybody. That's a coordination failure. You want to bring businesses in and you want people to do well, um, but you also want people to have jobs too. So that's, you have to coordinate those things. You got to be able to bring the industries in and you also need to, you know, make sure people have, have the jobs that they need because you know, if you don't have a job in America, you you die, and so you know you work or die, right? You're either a wage slave or you just pass on. So that, that's that's a little bit about Gallatin County um, demographics. Uh, the census of 2000, you know, they said there's 7,000 people, 7,800, and they said that 97% of Gallatin County is white. So it's it's so fucking white. 97% is not even close. Like they have 1.6% black folks. So 1.6%, you know, that's probably one or 200 people. So it's it's all white people, all white people all over the place. Lily white, and you can you, you understand? You think, my God, why is it so white? Are they are they killing the black people there? Are they jailing them? Are they beating them up and torturing them? And actually, yes, there is a a long legacy and history of the Ku Klux Klan and of uh, 
lynching black folks in Gallup County. That is, and we're going to get to all this. We're going to get through all of this tonight. <laughs> this is all about Gallup County, born and raised in Gallup County, um, valedictorian, and, uh, well, not born and raised in Gallup. I was in Gent, right? I was in a farm in the middle between Gent and Warsaw. So really, I was in the middle of fucking nowhere. That's, that's where I was born and raised, in the middle of fucking nowhere. Uh, but it was close to Gent and Warsaw, so...